Hi, I'm Pat Morley, Director of Aeronautics. Welcome to Talking Orange, Episode 7. Well, the Division of Aeronautics plays uh, two primary functions. First is we have flight operations, where we transport state personnel from Salt Lake City to their surrounding uh, airports to conduct their business. And second, we have interface with the FAA to help support our our 46 public use airports throughout the state. But all, each of these airports here plays an important role in the state's transportation system. Uh, not all airports are of equal value. Salt Lake Air National, of course, is of far greater value than, say, a small airport like Bluff or Blanding. But Blanding and Bluff Airport play a critical role to serve that local area. We go out and inspect uh, payment conditions of the airports. Uh, very similar to MMQA which we look at the assets, in this case pavement, uh, evaluate them and recommend uh, preservation programs. It helps us spend the money the right way, make the right choices for the, uh, where the funding will go. And we typically follow UDOT's lead on take care of good pavements, you know, uh, first and go from there and reconstruct the old ones. We've done really well this last few years. There's 45 public use airports in the state. Um, not all of them are eligible for federal funds and so again that's a, a coordination issue where we need to, ones that are eligible for federal funds, we want them to have access to those funds and the other ones we, we help do their projects through state grants. We have a project going on right now at Morgan Airport, uh, they, they're reconstructing, so they're typically pavement reconstruction, pavement rehabilitation uh, type projects. Uh, the, the, they'll do a big project every uh, uh, 10, 20 years, but in between they do a preservation, crack seal, seal coat, those kind of things. We had about over 30 flights that went out last, last month. For the most part, University of Utah medical teams. That's like 80% of our flights. But right now, it fluctuates. <laughs> the governor. <laughs> The governor flies. There's beauty everywhere we go, but a lot of the other places I've been to, some of them hundreds of times. So, you know, some, and I don't want to offend anyone, but some places are better than others, let's say that. Well, UDOT in itself has, uh, we, well, technically two and a half planes. We got a uh, King, King Air B200 and a C98, and then we have a joint asset with the Highway Patrol, which is a single engine Cessna 206. On top of that, we also maintain the aircraft for the Division of Wildlife Resources, which is uh, three Cessna 185s. Now, I've been an aircraft mechanic now for 16 years. Uh, I, enjoy, I enjoy doing it. To me, it's like coming, and work, coming to work and playing with the big toys. When you're in an airplane, you can't pull over the side of the road and the aircraft breaks. So you have to make sure that everything is, is perfect on these aircraft. Oh yeah, I've had Two different occasions, the uh, windshield shattered inside the plane. It's not dangerous or anything, but it's like it's spider webs so bad you can't even see through it on that side. One time, we're, there were some UDOT folks on board that that uh, probably remember that part. You could ask Randy Park and uh, <clears throat> Tracy Connie, who was a former UDOT employee. They were on one of them, and I, I think it was pretty exciting for them. Our pilots are exceptional, impeccable safety records and extreme high reliability. Uh, the mechanics, they see to those aircraft are, are up and running at all times and we have minimum, if any, impact on the flight schedule because they're exceptional service. Aeronautical planners, pavement engineers, and then of course our support services staff. Uh, it just makes it possible for this division, as small as it is, to accomplish large things in a very efficient fashion. As Carlos would say, thank you for all you do, be safe out there, put your phone down, buckle up, and remember, you keep Utah moving. <laughs> I have to throw that in there. You can cut that if you like, but who needs roads?